Hello everyone, it is Wednesday the 31st and I'm in town alone again. But Lynn's not feeling so well today. He's a little under the weather so we had some things that had to be taken care of today so I told him I would handle it. And while I'm here, I'm making a drop off at our local donation center. And then I need to go to Aldi for a couple of things. And then I need to go to Walmart. I am not doing well on this budget thing and not going to the store. We are um, just not doing well. I'm trying so hard, I really am. But I'm just not doing well. I'm just not. So I'm quite proud of myself. I've got a trunk full of things to be no donated, so I have made all the good this week. Well, I just barely made that. The donation box is full. So, I am going to head over to Aldi and see what I can pick up and hopefully not go to Walmart. So, here I am at Aldi again. I'm not getting that much. I probably won't even do a haul. But I have a question for you guys. Um, I've been buying a lot of organic. I mean, whether it be Aldi or um, Walmart, wherever. And it seems that every time I buy it, it goes bad on me really fast. Now, is that normal with buying organic produce? And if it is, why, you know? I'm wondering if maybe it just stays on the shelf longer and by the time I get it, it's just getting old. I don't know. Um, I really don't, but it has been getting bad on us really fast. And <clears throat> I'm kind of to the point of not wanting to do that anymore. You know, I mean, I like to buy organic as much as possible, but actually we have, you know, our, our garden produces, you know, we do organic. But, um yeah i'm starting to think it's not really worth it because it seems like it's going bad on us so quickly and what i do is putting it put it in our vegetable broth mixture or whatever or make stew you know before it starts going bad but you know you can only have so much stew and soup and vegetable broth <laughs> Whew. i forgot my bags and then i looked in my car i ran out to look in my car and get my bags you know my Aldi bag but you know what I've decided since it's the 31st I'm just gonna go ahead I'm cheating but I don't want to come back into town this week so I'm just gonna go ahead and do my big grocery shopping and count this for my February budget because we really don't need that much but I know we need enough so I'm gonna do that just get it over with so I don't have to come back into town you know what I mean well I'm gonna get on some milk, but I don't think I can reach it. <sighs> you guys are becoming my regular dates for my Aldi's. Well, let's see. I forgot my list. Had no clue what I needed to get. I, I don't even know. I, I honestly, you know, sometimes you can remember what's on your list. I have no clue. But there was this lady. You know how you have to put the quarter in the basket at. Aldi to get it. Bless her heart. She could not figure out what was going on. She kept looking for a basket. So I finally gave her an Aldi basket lesson and she was very happy. So, and I kept seeing her all over the store and she was very happy. So I think she had a good day and I had a good day because it was fun helping somebody. And I think maybe I got plenty, uh, well, I know I have plenty to get me by because we have plenty at home, but I'd made my menu out. You know what I mean? I'd made my, I've already planned my menu and there was a couple of things I needed on it and yeah, it's just not there. It just went away. So I guess I could do a quick little Audi haul when I get home. Not a very big one, but I'm going to I'm cheating though I am cheating and I'm going to put this on the 31st on my budget for February and I'm hopefully gonna be going to my mom's pretty soon so yeah gotta make sure I got everything that Lynn needs I did buy some things that well you know 
I'll show you when I get there, but he has requested a couple of things, so I did go ahead and splurge on those because I think he deserves them. And you know, he doesn't feel good tonight, today, and so he usually doesn't eat when he doesn't feel good, but I had already put a pork roast or some type of roast meat out to thaw in the fridge, and I really need to cook it, so I think I'm just going to put it in the crock pot and cook it in hopefully he'll eat it and if he doesn't he can make sandwiches with it tomorrow and the next day so I don't know what you know what I haven't eaten it's one o'clock in the afternoon and I haven't eaten a bite all day not good so while I was at Audi I did look at their organic produce and it definitely I'm not gonna say it's um, bad it's not bad but at all it's pretty but it's definitely riper than the produce, you know, regular produce. And I think that that's why it goes bad on me so much. I don't, I don't think they move it out as fast maybe. And you know, Lynn and I can eat on the same tomato for two days, you know? So I think I'm just gonna, unless it, unless we go to a farmer's market or something, I think I'm just gonna kind of really look at the produce before I buy organic from now on because you used to, I mean I always look at it but it just like I said it just seems a lot riper and you know I don't I don't want to be wasting money like that I mean organic buying organic is definitely not being wasteful but when it spoils on you before you can eat it yeah it is being wasteful so. and one thing I did notice on my budget um and I knew not to get into this, but I did anyway. You know, gluten-free snacks. And um, no, I don't need to be doing that. I mean, I, I'll buy the, the gluten-free flour, you know, and things like that, baking baking products and stuff. But as far as snacks are concerned, um, I don't need to do that. I, I can buy snacks that are, I don't need snacks anyway, it's just empty calories, but if I do, I can buy like Fritos or gluten free and things like that. So, and Lynn eats those. So, I think that's what I'm gonna, you know, really pay attention to. But I, you know, I splurged, I did. Um, it was the holidays and I did splurge, but it's time to get back on track. I've got 10 more, or actually, eight more pounds to go to reach a hundred lost. So, I really want to work on that. You know, I, as I'm driving home, I just looked and I saw a deer blind. It looked really close to the road. I don't like that. I mean, I'm sure that there is a law about how close they can be to roads and things, but I don't know. I haven't lived in Missouri that long. I just don't like the idea of somebody having a deer blind that close to the road and they got a gun pointing somewhere, you know? I don't know. I just don't like it. You know, my stepfather was a big hunter. I mean, big hunter. And um, I totally respect it. And if y'all, you guys are hunters, I mean, I know several of you are, are hunters, and I'm totally cool with that. As long as you don't waste the meat, go for it. But um, I don't, personally, I, I don't hunt. And um, I'm very leery of people with guns that close to the road seriously go hunt someplace else this is a big state go hunt further off the road you know i am gonna have to go back into town not grocery shopping but a friend of mine at church while i was in texas um i just see her at church and um but she's really sweet and we've really connected and she's always invited me you know to come over at her work and all that. And anyway, that's beside the point. She lost her son. And I just think that's so sad. And I felt so badly that I, you know, I didn't know about it. So I've made, I'm making an effort. I get into my little routine and I don't call people or anything, you know, because it's hard for me to get to know people. Believe it or not, I, I don't have any friends locally. I mean, I, I mean, you know, personal friends. I mean, go, you know, the club and stuff, and I know my neighbors, but as far as hangout girlfriends, no, I don't. I'm just not close to anyone here. And she seems to be my kind of girl, you know what I mean? Anyway, she lost her son. Her son had been ill for months, months and months, as long as I've been here, as long as I know her, he's been very ill. 
and um, I want to do something for her for Valentine's. You know, nothing special. I mean, nothing special, nothing expensive, but just something, just to let her know that she's special because she is. She's a really sweet lady. Uh oh, cow on the road. We only got a cow on the road. Oh, the joys of living in the country. Ooh, that's in a bad spot, too. A lot of people go around that curve really fast. I don't. I just, there's no point in it. I ain't in that big of a hurry to get these groceries put up, if you know what I mean. Ooh, big hawk. Sherry, if you're watching, there is a huge hawk up this way. My cousin Sherry does not like hawks. They chase her birds off. She's not a hawk person. She would not be happy here there's a lot of hawks. Well, I'm almost home. I hope my hubby's feeling better. I don't like it when he doesn't feel good. It scares me. You know, after him having, you know, with his health, it just, when he doesn't feel good, it scares me. Okay, we haven't tried these. I thought Lynn was saying that he wanted a pizza. It sounded good to him, so I got this for the freezer. Did get my milk. I crawled in there and got the milk. And stadium brats. I thought these would be really good with that sauerkraut. And then I got some chicken sausage. This looked really good too. And then these were on sale. I guess they were on sale. Um, $1.59. I thought that was pretty good. They're boneless and skinless. And I'm going to include this in our grocery budget because Millie does, our cat, she just, there. it's not enough to worry about. But this is a couple of weeks worth. In the daytime, we feed her um, dry, but at night, we give her a treat and give her wet food. She's an old cat, and she enjoys this, so I'm going to see if she likes it. It's the Aldi brand, I guess. But, uh, yeah, we're going to see if she likes it. And this is for the Keurig. And it's hot cocoa, fair trade dark roast. And I've had luck with their spices. I really do like these spices. This is parsley, and then I need, I remembered I was totally out of cinnamon, so I went in and got that. And we got four containers, cans of the uh, chunk lot tuna and water, paper bowls. Still had eggs left, so I went ahead and just got four dozen this time, and some corn chips. At some point, we're gonna have chili pot pie or frito pie, and then chalupas for chalupa night. Their avocados were 49 cents a piece. These are pretty hard, but they'll ripen up fast enough. And then we've got some Brussels sprouts. Pink Lady Apples, these looked really good. They didn't have, and I don't remember them ever carrying um, coleslaw mix, and we love coleslaw, but they did have this chopped salad kit, and I thought this might work with fish tacos. I'm, I'm not real sure, but I'll enjoy it no matter what, but I thought we might try this on fish, fish tacos. That'd be good. And... Some radishes. The birds love these. I haven't tried these since my surgery, so I'm interested to see how they go down. And then we have some bananas. And I didn't do organic, so blueberries. Honey. I gave up on that crystallized honey. I just went ahead and chunked it. So we've got new honey. Sauerkraut. All right. Sliced beets. Mustard, mayonnaise, Thousand Island dressing, and creamy ranch. And both of these are gluten-free. So it wasn't a huge haul, but I did remember to get everything on my list. And the total was 73 21